I teach blogging at a public high school. <laughs> it's supposed to be a web design class, but who web designs anymore? So um, that's what we do. I practice this, and I practice each slide is five seconds, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> the static website died in 2005, that's a bold statement, but um, it kind of did. Um, if you want a website, it needs to be active. Um, here live static websites die due to act inactivity and a little bit of dysentery. None of my students got that joke or in trail. <laughs> use WordPress, it's powerful and easy to use. That is a blogging software, it, uh, it's free, it's easy to use, it's all set up, ready to go. You just have to provide the content, um, and that's the hard part. <laughs> The little W is there, a sweet logo. Uh, if you want people to visit your website, it better be updated every day. This is an ancient proverb. Um, how many of you go to a website and then it's not updated and you check it the next day and you go, oh, this is a great website still. You check it a week later, oh, this website's still so good. Uh, no content, no readers. You'll give up on it. So, no readers, no point. Nobody's going to your website. What's the point? Um, so you want people to read it, you want people to click, you want people to go, hey, this is awesome, check this out, and then you want people to click on the, the ads, you want people to talk about it, they want, you want to make money off of it eventually. So, what do readers want? Readers want entertainment, education, and inspiration. Um, the colors represent those different things. Um, <laughs> entertainment is like jokes and funny stuff and pictures of cats. Education is uh, what to do, how to do something, and inspiration is more pictures of cats. Uh, anticipation, give your readers a routine. So this is one thing I teach my students. You want to train your readers like dogs. Uh, luckily dogs are sweet and loyal and they'll come back and they'll come back and they'll come back but they need to know what, why they're coming, so anticipation. I use Portlandia as a tool of education. Uh, Portlandia, rule number one is everything you do has to have a bird on it. Um, this is a sketch from the show. Uh, uh, basically what I mean is you need to um, put your own unique spin on it, make it unique. You're gonna make a t-shirt, put a bird on it. You're gonna write a post about cats, make, make it unique. If you don't have anything niche to say, don't say anything at all. I came up with that all by myself. Um, uh, so nobody cares if you don't have something interesting to say, pretty much, right? Yeah. Uh, when people ask, why should I read your blog? This is hard for high school students. You should, you should have a good answer. Um, why should I go to your blog about sunrises? Uh, I don't know. Okay, I won't go then. <laughs> so, you have to have a good answer. Oh, it's the most beautiful. I live in Santa Barbara. I have to wake up for school. You know, blah, 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 blah. You want to find the right audience. This is difficult. Uh, you need to get your blog in front of the right people. Um, who are the right people? I don't know. So, how do you find the right people? I don't know. So, this is really hard. You have to get your, your name out there. You have to get, um, you know, comment on other blog, it's, it's, it's a lot of work. Portlandia rule number two, <laughs> DJ direct, pause it, wicka, wicka, wicka. Uh, don't be annoying about advertising. To find the right readers, you have to advertise. Don't go on Facebook and go, hey, please go to my website. A week later, hey, please go to my website. Hey, please go to my website. No, okay? So you have to be smart about it. You have to create beneficial content. Uh, you are better off because you read what I wrote. You're welcome, okay? You have to come out with that. And as a high school student, this is hard. You're 15, you're 16. You have to you know, say something that nobody else can talk about, have something that benefit them. I have students talking about aquariums. I have students talking about fashion. You want to cultivate your readers. So this is one of the things I talk about with my students. So give them attention. Give your readers attention. Provide fertile soil. Water them often. Try not to step on them. Use the right tools and wear proper gloves. <laughs> Roses are sharp sometimes. So Portlandia rule number three, sell it, be confident. Here's Jeff Goldblum selling knots. So you can sell knots as long as you're confident, as long as you say, speak with authority, okay? I can be making all this all up, but I'm using a microphone, so I'm speaking from authority. So um, 
sell it. Be confident in what you say. That's, again, hard for high school students. Breaking news, ring, 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 sirens. Los Angeles Unified School District hires a social media specialist for 93K a year. LAUSD still isn't hiring English teachers for 40 k So uh, we kind of see that the value, there's value in blogging, there's value in, value in social media. Here's why I'm right. Students already, my students already have thousands of visitors per week. In three days, two of my students were featured on WordPress's Freshly Press. That's like kind of the, the, the highlight of the blog. You go to the blog and it's featured. Already, some of my students are generating revenue. That's money. Uh, this, these are the skills that they get. Writing, spelling, citing sources, photography, graphic design, marketing, advertising, communication, drawing, confidence, inspiring others, resume building, portfolio building, commitment, consistency, global view, being an authority, educating others, and finding a voice. Some of the many things that my students get. Blogging and social media is the future. Our students are the future. This is how they communicate. Guide them and they will succeed. So you gotta tell them kinda, this is what you're doing, it. this is why you're doing it, and most kids don't think about, oh, Twitter, what's, so? So you gotta remind them that this is special, that this is something new. Nothing is static anymore, that's uh, the modern proverb, so that's what we're gonna go out on. So always update, do special <laughs> things, entertain, inspire, and educate. I should have had a picture of a cat.